Right now we get a special playoff Saturday edition of Friday Night Football. I'm Eric Graver. The second round of the playoffs in the books with teams trying to punch a ticket to the state quarterfinals, including a pair of Nick 10 teams. We're going to start in 6A. Harlem trying to advance to the quarterfinals for the first time, taking on Grays Lake North. Starting in the second half, Harlem's up 10-7, but who else but DeAndre Young making plays with the ball in his hands. Puts the Huskies up 17-7. Fullback Colby Cross letting everybody know Young is the LeBron James of Rockford. He wanted me to make sure everybody knew that. Knight's looking to respond now, and this dude was a problem all night. Cameron Bates with the reception to make it a one-score game. Knights would go on to take the lead, so Harlem needs to answer now. Austin Redmond does that. He's in the end zone, and now Harlem has to hold on with five minutes left in the game. And the Knights, they would get into Harlem's territory at the 24-yard line. It's fourth and ten. They put the ball in the air trying to keep this game alive, but it's incomplete. Harlem gets the ball with just a minute remaining, and they would never give it back. They move on to the third round. It was rowdy out at Harlem High School, and they win it 24-20. Boylan on the road facing Nazareth in the second round. In the first quarter, all tied up at seven. The Boylan senior captain, Jack Kerno getting through for a big sack. Defense trying to step up on a really windy day. Hard to move the ball, but the Roadrunner offense would turn it on. They connect for a long completion. Not see a lot of completions out there in any games. And same drive now, and a little wide receiver screen. Nazareth showing they got speed all over the field. They get into the end zone to go up a touchdown. Here's that speed again. The quarterback, Logan Malachuk, was making plays out there. Quarterback keeper goes flying into the end zone. The Titans fall to Nazareth, 38-13. In 3A, Stillman Valley taking on IC Catholic and Elmhurst. Cheerleaders fighting through the cold wind with the Stillman fans. Knights would get on the board first early, scoring the touchdown and converting, and they would go for two, so they're up 8 to nothing. Stillman looking to respond now, and they turn to their workhorse back. Porter needs, what a run, breaking through the tackles, lots of yards after the contact. Finally brought down around the five-yard line. Jory Spain adds to that. He gets the six points, finishes off Porter Needs' hard run for the score. And later in the second quarter, Stillman would recover a fumble, and Alex Hinkle capped the drive off with six. But the Knights, they would turn it on later in the second half and beat the Cardinals 42-14. to They're going to get the winner of this game, Genoa Kingston on the road against Princeton. Start in the second quarter, Princeton up 7-0. Snap goes by Princeton, past the quarterback and into the end zone. Nolan Perry makes the tackle there for a safety to put Genoa Kingston on the board. Cogs get the, the rare two points. Later in the quarter, the Tigers respond. Tegan Davis connecting with Noah Laporte. That's a touchdown. Meanwhile, the Princeton defense is not giving up anything out there. They were making it tough on the Cogs, trying to make something happen, but they put an end to the Genoa Kingston season with a 26-2 win. We've had lots of good football so far. Next up, we head to the 1A bracket with lots of local teams looking to advance. Got more highlights when Friday Night Football returns on this Saturday after the break.